Chef Buck here and this morning we're going to cook up a breakfast hash. I'm using young green jackfruit and when you go to the store you can also find uh, this kind of jackfruit which is in syrup but you don't want this because this is ripe jackfruit and that's more sweet, it's more desserty. We want something more savory. So let's get in this can and take a look at it. And the reason we're going to use this is because it has a very meaty texture. But it's a very uh, neutral flavor. So you can use it in a lot of different dishes. And it won't be overly overpowering. So uh, it's very versatile. So we're going to empty our jackfruit. The ones I like to buy say in water or in brine. But we're going to go ahead and rinse these off. And this is young green jackfruit, so it's very pale looking. So I like to take it, you know, each piece in, in hand and just give it a squeeze and tear it apart like that. And you know, if you can't do that, you can get a knife and cut it into smaller pieces. But the uh, outer, outer part will just shred very easily. And that way you'll be able to use everything in the can. Inside, when you squeeze it, you know, they've got these seeds. See, like this here is a rounded seed. This is very tender and this is edible. So now we've got it all shredded up. And then I'm just going to leave this sit for a few minutes. While we get our other ingredients going over here, I'm going to turn my burner up on a kind of a medium high. Put me a little bit of coconut oil in there. Let that melt up. So I think our pan and oil are heated up enough. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of onion in here. Let this saute up for just a couple of minutes and get a little bit of color on here. Since this is a breakfast hash, we're going to have a little bit of potato in here. And I've used a sweet potato as well, but I'm using a little bit of red potato in here this morning and I'm going to cut it up into some smaller pieces because this is breakfast so I don't want to be waiting around all morning so I'm going to cut it up into some smaller pieces so that it'll cook a little faster and you can use any kind of potato you like and I'm not going to use a lot of potato you know I want a good ratio between a potato and jackfruit and I'm just using one can of jackfruit you know and these are pretty good sized potatoes so I actually got quite a little bit here and you want to leave the skin on your potato because it'll help to hold the potato together. And plus you paid for that skin. That's your skin. Give our onions a stir over here. Our way smells delicious. Add a few more ingredients in here. I got a little bit of a uh, green bell pepper chopped up here. Since this is a hash, I want a variety of ingredients. I'm going to use my uh, red jalapeno and then a little bit of garlic. Yay! Onion and garlic! Yeah. So now it's been going for a few minutes all together, and I'm going to add in some spices here. You can put whatever kind of seasoning you like. I like to add a lot of seasoning, you know, so that the, the jackfruit and the potato have a lot of flavor. So I got some turmeric, some cumin, a little paprika, and some black pepper and salt. But uh, definitely uh, try other seasonings and, you know, put your favorites in there. Stir it around and get it all mixed in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw my jackfruit in here. And just look at the texture of that. It, it kind of looks like chicken. It almost looks a little bit like a shredded chicken breast. You know, except for these little seed parts right here. You know, but like I said, you can take the time and go through and smash those up completely if you want. I'm going to go ahead and turn my, my heat up a little bit now. I'm going to add the potatoes in here. Because mainly what we want to do now, you know, for this dish to be finished, is just cook the potato. You know, the jackfruit doesn't need to be cooked. You know, our onions and peppers and everything have already been sauteed up a little bit, but they're going to cook with the potatoes. Alrighty, I'm going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And now this dish is pretty much complete. So as soon as these potatoes are done to the doneness that we like them done, it'll be finished. So I'm going to take about a can of water, throw in here. And get everything mixed up, covered up. I got my heat turned up a little bit. And I'm going to throw a lid on here and bring it up to a bubble. Now it's come up to a bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat down to a simmer. Go ahead and cover this up. Let it simmer away until my potatoes are cooked through. And I don't know how long that's going to be. It's going to depend on the size of your taters. Okay, so it's been probably about 10 minutes. Simmering away, and my potatoes are starting to soften up. So now I'm going to continue to let it simmer for just a few minutes with the lid off, and I'll let this water cook off of here and dry out, and it'll be uh, time for breakfast. Yahoo! All right, so it's been about 10 more minutes, and I think I've cooked up enough of the water off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and as you can see, grab a fork. 
See, the fork passes easily into the potato pieces, so it's all ready to eat. I chopped up a little fresh parsley. Because this doesn't look very exciting. It looks kind of kind of washed out from uh, cooking like that. So we'll put a little uh, fresh veggies in there. And this is optional, but it just makes it look a lot nicer. And you can use cilantro or, or any kind of herbs you like, any kind of fresh herbs, to give it a little bit of color and pizzazz. But that's it. Look how meaty that looks. You know, it has a great texture. You know, it makes a nice breakfast hash with these potatoes. But that's it. Now I'm just going to whip my eggs up real quick and then we're going to eat. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and plate a little bit of this hash up. Smells delish. What about some decorations here? I learned this in Las Vegas. And I'm going to put a couple of over easy eggs on here just kind of as a sauce. But you don't have to do that. You could use scrambled eggs. You don't have to use eggs at all. But you can see just a couple of red potatoes and uh, one of those cans of uh, jackfruit and a little bit of onion or whatever. It makes an awful lot. So we'll have leftovers. Alrighty, so there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and crack my yolk here. Give me a little yolky sauce on there. Mm, so good with this egg. Doesn't take long to cook at all. It just takes as long as the potatoes take. You know, so whatever kind of potatoes you use and how small you slice them up. Like I said, Camera Girl likes this with sweet potatoes. You know, if you want to print this recipe, I'll have a link down below, or if you just want to take a peek at it, it's written down there. But give it a go, let us know what you think. If you haven't tried jackfruit, you know, get you a can of young green jackfruit and give it a go. Thanks for subscribing and watching the video, and we'll see you in the future.